Today, you are going to practice your speaking skills by having a conversation. With who? Well, with me, of course. Yes, that's right. You and I are going to have a lovely conversation in English. And how's it going to work? Well, there will be a dialogue around the topic of asking for a favor, basically between two people. The first person is the manager of the company and the second person is the employee. The dialogue will be played three times. The first time, you will watch me do the whole dialogue by myself so you can listen to the correct pronunciation of all the words. The second time the dialogue is played, it's going to be your time to shine. You are going to read out what person B says the employee. And the third time, we're going to swap over. You will be the manager and I'm going to be the employee. Just before we jump into the video, I want to remind you that you can practice your speaking skills one-on-one -on -one with an English teacher on Live XP. Live XP is an online platform where you can find some amazing English teachers for private classes. I highly recommend this platform if you want to speak with native speakers while at the same time mastering your conversational skills, enhancing your pronunciation, or even polishing your accent. You can download Live XP on your phone or use it on your laptop. The main reason I love this platform is that you can filter the tutors by the country that they're from. So you can look for an English tutor from the UK, the USA, Canada, South Africa, Australia, and so on. You can also choose a teacher based on specific goals. Maybe you wanna take the IELTS exam, maybe you just wanna travel and be more conversational, or maybe you need it for your work. And if you're worried that you might be too busy, don't fret, you can choose the schedule that suits you best so you never have to miss a class again. Here's a video of me enjoying my Portuguese class with Blender a few days ago. It was great because we have similar interests which help the conversation to flow. On top of that, she has a lot of experience teaching, meaning she was able to understand when to correct my mistakes, as well as being able to clearly explain difficult grammar points. If you look in the box below, you will find a link that will allow you to get a trial class for only 99 cents. And when you found a teacher that you want to take more classes with, check the second link in the box below. This will give you 30% off your monthly subscription with Live XP. Anyway, it's time to have a chat. Let's go. Sorry, Chris, have you got a minute? I need a favor. I'm a bit snowed under at the moment, but sure. What can I help you with? So, you know the website we're working on for Zara? Of course, I've been slogging my way through it for the past four months. It's been an absolute nightmare. Yeah, so, look, I'm really sorry about this, but they want some more changes made. Seriously? They emailed me last week about some additional features they wanted to add. I know, I'm so sorry. Would you be able to take some time to work on it this afternoon? I'm not really sure if I can. I've got my hands full trying to get rid of that bug on the museum website. I'd forgotten about that. Is there any chance you could consider working late tonight? Sorry, I would if I could, but it's not possible. I'm taking my nephew bowling for his birthday. It's been planned for ages. Okay, well, could you perhaps come in early tomorrow? I'll make it up to you. Okay, how? Name your price. An extra day's holiday? All right, can you get in for 5 a.m.? 7 a.m. Let's say six. Done, brilliant, thanks. Now it's your turn. I will read the sentences in blue and you will read the sentences in red when they appear on the screen. Make sure that you're reading the sentences aloud, just like we're having a real conversation together. This will be great practice and will help you to feel more natural next time you speak in English. Anyway, let's get cracking. Sorry, Chris, have you got a minute? I need a favor. So, you know the website we're working on for Zara? Yeah, so, look, I'm really sorry about this, but they want some more changes made. I know, I'm so sorry. Would you be able to take some time to work on it this afternoon? I'd forgotten about that. Is there any chance you could consider working late tonight?
Okay, well, could you perhaps come in early tomorrow? I'll make it up to you. Name your price. All right, can you get in for 5 a.m.? Let's say six. Brilliant, thanks. Great job. What lovely pronunciation you have. Now, are you ready to swap? This time, you're going to go first and read the sentences in blue, and I'm going to read the sentences in red when they appear on the screen. Anyway, let's do this. I'm a bit snowed under at the moment, but sure, what can I help you with? Of course, I've been slogging my way through it for the past four months. It's been an absolute nightmare. Seriously? They emailed me last week about some additional features they wanted to add. I'm not really sure if I can. I've got my hands full trying to get rid of that bug on the museum website. Sorry, I would if I could, but it's not possible. I'm taking my nephew bowling for his birthday. It's been planned for ages. Okay. How? An extra day's holiday? Seven AM. Done. Fantastic. You did amazing. If you want to continue practicing your English, check out this video. Yep, this one here. You have to click it. Click it, right? Click it. And if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. I'll see you next time.